The second Tuesday of the French Open is traditionally the evening of the ITF World Champions Dinner. Tonight, over 400 members of the tennis family will gather to honor the champions of last year and those who have made outstanding contributions to the game. Good evening, everybody, and on behalf of the ITF Board of Directors, I would like to welcome all of you to this 37th World Champion Dinner by ITF. This evening is organized by the International Tennis Federation and is always an event that everyone awaits. This is the last that is to be chaired by Francesco Ricci my dear friend. I want to thank you especially, Francesco. This has always been a pleasure and an honor to work beside you. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a very warm welcome to Yui Kamiji. How does it feel to be a world champion? I feel very honored to be here. The year 2014 was very impressive for me. I, because I won my first singles Grand Slam title in here, France, and I also won the Grand Slam doubles, champ doubles championship, and I became the world number one. I, I, yes. <laughs> yeah, I would say that was a good year. <laughs> I was, it's an unbelievable year. What are your goals for the future? Mm, I'm, I'm, my goal is the next year in 2016 at the Rio de Janeiro Paralympics, the gold medal, and also the, at singles um, or the current uh, Grand Slam title. But please welcome on the stage Shingo Kunieda. Uh, last year was the uh, most satisfying year for me and uh, I could uh, play very well uh, because of my trainer and my coach was there, is there. Uh, very appreciated about that. Thank you. Ah, I'm satisfied uh, about last year, my performance. And uh, I, I could keep uh, this year also, until now. So I want to keep this. Welcome, please, the junior world champion. She's wonderful, Cece Bellis. What does it feel like to be a world champion? Did you imagine that could happen? No, I mean, ever since I was really young, uh, I knew tennis was the thing I wanted to do, and to be here today, I'm really honored, so thank you so much. And the transition from the junior game to the senior game, how's, how's that been overall? You won some 25s, I've seen, and going forwards, what are the goals? Um, yeah, it's definitely really tough transitioning because uh, it's such a high level, but I think my goal for the end of this year is to try to get my ranking into the top 100. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a real talent, Andre Rublev. <laughs> what ranking do you think you're going to get to one uh, day? Actually, now, there's a, there's a tough question. Yeah, of course, everybody's playing to be number one, but I, I'm not even thinking about it. I just try to do my best every day, and that's it. Andre, the first Russian to be named ITF World Champion in any category, what does that mean to you? Uh, of course, it's a big pleasure for me that I'm the first in my country, so I'm going to try to do my best, work more harder, and just keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, actually the two and only, Bob and Mike Bryan. Yeah, this is an honor. Um, the 11th time, we can't believe it. It's been... Uh, been a whirlwind, but uh, we're happy. It's always, always special to be here. Guys, 11 times as uh, you've been here as world champions, what does it mean to be in an evening like this? I mean, it feels good every time. Um, you know, the 11th time feels just as good as the first time. Um, this is a culmination of a lot of hard work during the year. This is where we want to be standing. On the Tuesday of the second week of the French, every, uh, every year, you know, we get the, the sculpture. Um, it's a really special trophy. It goes up there with all the Grand Slams. The Olympics, um, yeah, it's, there's nothing sweeter than uh, getting up on stage and getting that award. A big welcome, please, to the 2014 ITF Women's World Champion, Serena Williams. What do you enjoy most about playing when you've won everything and um, there are really no more mountains to climb? 
What is the thing that you most enjoy? Is it winning? There's always mountains to climb. You know, it's like once you finish one, you there's always another peak to get to. It, it kind of never ends. And I think that's what keeps me motivated is the fact that there's always one more to go for. It means a lot to me, and every year that goes by, um, I think it means a little bit more. And it's such an honor to be uh, the world champion for the ITF. And uh, you know, us all players, we all work really, really hard. And to be able to have an opportunity to achieve the honor is really the top level. I am sure that uh, Philippe Chatrier would be very happy to share his name with you, Mary. And I am very proud, on behalf of the ITF, Board of Director to present you the 2015 Philippe Chatrier Award to Mary Carillo. Ladies and gentlemen, I have had a lifelong crush on tennis. And uh, on a night when we celebrate the present and recognize the future, I, I really need to honor the past, especially the man whose name is on this magnificent award. What I've always liked about tennis is you can play it any way you want. I mean, you can attack, you can defend, you can serve a ball, you can stay back. You can, and there's no substitutions, there's no timeouts, you know, there's no coaching. I mean, you pretty much, you know, live and die on your own. And so it's a real thinking man's game, and, and I always enjoyed that. And it, it's all about problem solving mm -hmm. under a lot of pressure. Sure. And, and that's what I love about the game and about the athletes who can compete at the, at the highest level. The athletes we're celebrating tonight.